These five design features are so good, it may convince you to stop using Canva and switch over to Microsoft Designer. Let me show you. Microsoft Designer is a new tool that is completely free and allows you to create designs using artificial intelligence. All you need is a Microsoft account and you are good to go. The first feature that you will love is of course the use of artificial intelligence. You can create a new design simply by typing a prompt. Let's say I want to create a flyer for an upcoming event on public speaking and leadership. Let me type my prompt. My prompt is to create an Instagram post on public speaking and leadership skills. Click on generate. And just like that, it has created a series of posters using different design ideas. If you like a particular design, just click on it and download it and you are done. If you want to refine this design or perhaps make it brand compliant, we can click on customize design. This brings me to the second awesome feature in Microsoft Designer, the brand kit. If you want to speed up your design workflow, a brand kit is the way to go. On the left hand side, click on brand kit and then click on get started. I want to create content for Toastmasters, so I will create a brand kit for Toastmasters. Let me name my brand kit by clicking here and give my brand kit a name. I'll call it Toastmasters. You can use the artificial intelligence features of Microsoft Designer to build your brand kit. However, in Toastmasters, we have very specific colors. So let me define them. Click on the plus and I will define my first brand color, which is 004165 Loyal Blue. Come to this section called Hex and type the code. That's my first brand color. Click on plus and give the next brand color called Cool Gray and so on. So these are the six brand colors of Toastmasters. Click next. You can also define the fonts that should be part of your brand kit. We start with the heading. In Toastmasters, heading should be written using Gotham or Montserrat. Since Gotham is a paid font, let me search for Montserrat. Microsoft has several versions of Montserrat that we can use. Let me try this semi bold. And I think this is the version that is closest to the brand font that we can use. Click on it. Click on the back arrow. Then click on the next button. Here we can define the second font that should be used for subheadings. In Toastmasters, the recommended font is So Sans Pro. Let me search for it. So Sans Pro. This font is available out of the box. All I have to do is click on it, click on the back arrow and then next. And finally, the font that you should use for your body. In Toastmasters, it is also So Sans Pro. I will select it, go back and we are done with our brand kit. Click on preview brand kit. We have defined the colors and the fonts. Click on save. This will save you so much time when you are designing. Let's get back to our design. I want to change this background color to one of my brand colors. Click on it. Click this color icon. We can now choose one of the brand colors very easily. The same applies to fonts. Click on the text. On the left hand side, instead of suggested, select brand font. And with a click, you can make your font brand compliant. To demonstrate feature number three, let me delete this image that is on my design. I want to upload my own image. On the left hand side, click on my media. You can upload images from your computer, from Google Drive, or even from Dropbox. But the feature that is really cool is this one called upload from the phone. This feature allows you to directly transfer images from your mobile device into Microsoft Designer. Click on from phone. It will generate a QR code. From my phone, I will scan the QR code. And this is what I see on my phone. All I have to do is click select files. I will select from my files, choose the folder, select the image and click done. These images are now available in Microsoft Designer. Click upload and you're done. You can drag and drop this image into your design. Pretty amazing. 
The fourth feature that you will love is the photo editing features. For example, this photo, if I want to remove the background, all I have to do is click on remove background. And just like that, it has magically removed the background from this photo. There are additional filters that you can try such as the erase filter and the blur background. Let me also change this color to one of the brand colors. Click on background and let's make it gray. Resize the picture a bit. Keep in mind that all of this is completely free. And feature number five is also based on artificial intelligence. As you keep customizing your design, Microsoft Designer will keep evaluating your design and suggest ideas using AI. If you like any of the suggestions, all you have to do is click on it. The suggestions are great. Of course, they don't look at the branding guidelines. So if you want to do something that is brand compliant, then you have to stick to your own design. If you want to revert to your original design, all you have to do is click on undo and you're back to your brand compliant design. So those are five features that can radically improve your design workflow and they are completely free. What other features in Microsoft Designer do you like? Please leave a comment. If you like this video, please like and subscribe because it motivates me to create more content like this. Have fun designing.